Welcome to the Studio 70 podcast. Our goal is for you to join in on real behind the scenes conversations about our projects and the people who make them happen. Thank you for joining us. Hi, I'm Austin Parenti, Executive Director for Studio 70. In this devotional series, I'll be sharing God's word with you all as I do with my students every day. Just a disclaimer, I am not a pastor. I'm just a film guy trying to make sense of the Bible. Enjoy. Studio 70's second core value is truth. So let's take a look at what the Bible has to say about the truth and truthfulness in the book of John, chapter 8, verses 31 and 32. So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed him, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. The first question you might have is, uh, set me free? I'm not a prisoner. (laughs) Uh, I'm not a slave. Uh, I don't need to be liberated. Thank you, Jesus. Well, the Pharisees had the same sort of point. They were curious what he meant, so Jesus clarified, truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who practices sin is a slave to sin. Christ is not talking about your economic or political status. He's talking about your spiritual status. That if you are a sinner, which we all are, we all fall short of our own standard for living. If you're a sinner, it's not just that you've committed a one-time crime, but you are actually enslaved to that sin. How can that be? It sounds a little melodramatic, Jesus. Well, think about it. We've all done something that we shouldn't have done or said something we shouldn't have said and laying awake at night and wondered, you know, how did I let that come out of my mouth? How did I do that? that? That'll never happen again. And we make these vows only to realize a few days or weeks later, there I go again. I said that thing again, or I did that thing I shouldn't have done. What is happening? What, what that's demonstrating is that sin's hold on you is powerful. It is as if you are in bondage to it. You are chained to it. And it would take a miracle to rid it from you. Jesus's solution is the truth. Now that should be equally confusing at first glance. How is it that uh, a truth statement or a fact will break my chains uh, and set me free? That makes no sense. Don't I need to like, you know, do something about it? Well, the first truth that Christ is trying to reveal to us, the way this functionally works is, We first must understand that we are prisoners before we can hope to break out of prison. (laughs) It's kind of like the Matrix. If you've seen the Matrix, Neo is living in a computer simulation, but he doesn't know it. So the first step to him escaping the Matrix is, you know, being told that the Matrix exists and that he's trapped in it. Then he can worry about escaping. And so in one sense, that's the first part of what Jesus is trying to do. The truth will set you free. You first have to understand your spiritual depravity before you can ever hope to be free from it. And so then we say, okay, I get it. Cool. All right. I'm a sinner. I'm a slave to sin. I'd love to be, you know, free of these chains. Uh, Jesus, now what? But Jesus doesn't respond with, you know, seven methods for escaping, you know, uh, sin in your life or seven tactics for breaking open jail doors and beating up, you know, the guards. It seems that he kind of just stands on that first statement. The truth will set you free. The truth. Well, what is that that truth and how does that functionally work? Well, Jesus tells us that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And so somehow Christ is actually the answer to this and Christ is our liberation. Here's how it works. Jesus was born into the prison alongside us. And by living the perfect life and dying sacrificially, rising again, it is as if he has broken open the cell door, he has subdued the guard, and he has cut through the barbed wire, making the way. And so all you and I need to do is follow him, is walk after him. Yes, we are in prison, but the truth is Christ has overcome the prison and all we need to do is, well, do as he did, follow him. Walk the way, and we too will find ourselves liberated. I am so grateful for this truth. Jesus Christ saw fit not to, you know, send us an escape rope that we need to figure out how it works and kind of make our own way, but he made the way for us, and that by clinging to him and following him and committing our lives to him, we can inherit his perfect liberation, his perfect escape. What does this imply about the films that we make? Why is this a core value in Studio 70? We want to join Christ in setting people free. 
We believe that the world is better when there is more truth in it, when the truth is accessible. And yes, we believe in objective truth. And so our movies, while they might not always be, you know, Christian movies that present to you Bible verses and scripture, we hope that they will communicate some sort of gospel truth, something that illuminates to people their situation and their hope that they have in the truth of the gospel. It is that fact, a desire to communicate truth to a world that desperately needs it, that motivates us to get up every day and to keep on writing, and to keep on filming. Thanks again for joining us today. If you enjoyed our content, consider subscribing. Studio 70 is a division of the King's Academy, a K-12 private Christian school in West Palm Beach, Florida. For more information, visit studio70.tv or tka.net.